Alright, haulers. Hello and welcome back to Train Sim World 2020. And we can see they're already doing some shifting here. I guess we have a little bit of a mission here. We need to go rescue some cars. I guess there was an issue that they broke down, they repaired the cars, and now we need to go get them and bring them back, I believe. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go hop in the locomotive. I have already gone through some of the tutorials on how to operate this locomotive, though I do have experience from the last game. Hopefully this will go well, but we're gonna go ahead and jump in and listen to what we're told. Before we reach the end of the yard, I'll contact the dispatcher for permission to head out to Heinemann. Set the locomotive up and we'll get going when you're ready. Alright, I am good to go. Uh, ditch and gauge lights, forgot about those, I stand corrected. Nope, I want the light. Ugh. There we go. Alright. Now. Should be good to roll. Sound the horn to let everyone know we're moving. And then we should be good enough to roll. This is X551 requesting a track warrant from Cumberland Terminal to Hyman. Over. X551 subject to signal indication. Proceed from Cumberland Terminal as far as Cumberland Station. Wait there for eastbound Q116 to pass. Then proceed to Hyman. Over. X551, subject to signal indications, proceeding from Cumberland Terminal to Cumberland Station. Await passage of eastbound Q116, then proceed to Heinemann. Out. Alright, here we go. Whoops. Forgot to, uh, well, no, not bail off. Well, you know what, it's in the right spot. And we are good to go, so we're going to set the throttle, we're going to get moving here. For whatever reason, the locomotives are rocking pretty hard. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if you guys can even see that, but they're boogieing. But we're going to go ahead and get rolling. And obviously, like I said, I did do the tutorials and stuff, but not everything that was in the tutorials. Are, there's already things I've done now that I haven't done yet in this locomotive, so do bear with me. I'm just going based off of as I'm learning. And that means there will be things that I don't know. But hopefully we will get there in one piece. And I do want to make it very clear that I also will be doing some cutting here. I believe this is supposed to take us about an hour, so I will probably cut down some of this to get it down to a half an hour. If you guys would rather me post the whole thing, let me know, and I can always do that. Uh, probably over at my other channel, I probably won't do it on this one, but over at the Lawn Hauler Live Archive channel, I could always do that. And uh, do keep an eye out because I would like to stream this game in the future, and we can definitely do that. I think we're okay to move here. I'm kind of concerned about the uh, crossovers here. I don't want to derail this on my first day. Probably not the best way to go. But we are going to take it nice and easy, make our way over, wait for the other train, and then go from there. X551. We're ready to head to Heinemann. Over. X551. Subject to signal indication. Proceed to Heinemann. Over. X551. Subject to signal indications. Proceeding to Heinemann. Out. And here we go. We finally just got a clear. We are rolling backwards though, which is a bit of a problem. There we go, we're good. Turned out that that intermodal consist that passed us was actually the train we were waiting for. So by the time we even got here, we're all ready to go. So that is awesome. It is very, very funny to me seeing... I am going to go ahead, I'm going to shut the uh, the windows here. want to get a little fresh air in the cab. But it is very, very funny to me to see everything CSX branded when you know damn well that in real life every single train that's an intermodal consist like to have every single crate uh be exactly the same is next to impossible especially now so that's kind of funny to me 
does give a clean look to everything, but just not how it is in real life. We do have a crossing coming up, so we are going to signal ahead of time to let them know we are coming. We should be all clear and through. We are beautiful. Hopefully the bell will turn off on its own here in a second. And it did. Awesome. So now we just need to slowly and carefully make our way over there. Man, I would love having this as a job in real life. Honestly, like, I know people that have worked on the railroads and I know there's a lot of negativity surrounding it in terms of there's a lot of really... With every industry, there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes that's just not good in any way and uh the railroad industry is definitely one that that's a problem for but if i would love to be a locomotive operator the thing is is from what i know you basically have to not have a family you have to not have anything you you you're gone constantly and uh obviously you're you're going every which way i think it would be awesome especially right now since i'm young and i don't have those things but Definitely takes away from the ability of being able to sit here and make videos for you guys. Otherwise, I would be out chasing a few different jobs for sure. And uh, definitely difficult in a state where we really don't have much for rail. Uh, I have definitely looked at rail jobs uh, through like Pan Am and stuff like that, but they just don't have much here in the state. A lot of stuff that they're looking for, especially right now, are things like maintenance of way or stuff like that. We're going a little too fast, so I'm going to apply a little bit of a break here. Just to slow us down enough. We'll go ahead and re release that. But I would very much love to have the opportunity to get out and do some of this. I wouldn't even mind working maintenance of way, really. But maintenance of way is another one of those industries where you're very much like you're gone. Like you, you go for a significant amount of time, you know, months potentially. I don't honestly know. I've speak, uh, spoken, uh, speaking, wow spoken with people who've, who've done that job and had the privilege of working with some of these people and uh, they definitely didn't speak highly of some of it which is kind of disappointing at the end of the day but you know what it is what it is go ahead and signal here Now, I might have waited too long. I might need to do that multiple times coming through, but there's no one there. We should be good. That is the thing, though, is when people decide they're going to cross, it's usually out of nowhere, so you got to be very, very careful. Looks like we got a lot of little intersections here, and we are kind of close to what looks to be living areas, and you got to watch out for kids and things like that in these areas, I would imagine. But what we're going to do is make our way down, and I will see you guys once we get closer. All right, and here we are coming up on where we're being informed to stop. We're going to come to a nice, easy slow here and look at parking up, hopefully. See if we can make it without having to speed back up. Drop it right there. Beautiful. This is the Cumberland Narrows. It's crazy that just the Wills Creek carved it out. Lucky for us it did, though. Otherwise, it would have added another 10 miles to the line if we had to go around these hills via Crescent Town. Plenty of floods come through here in the fall. Strong enough to wash away road and rail. Although, things have improved over the years, Mike. Now the creek runs in a concrete box, but it still breaks free now and again. I will say, this is a very beautiful area. Why he had us stop for this, I have no idea. We're going to go ahead. We're going to get cooking again. Whoops, did not want to throw it into notch 5. See about getting rolling again. Definitely, like I said, very beautiful area. You can't actually see the river. I don't know. I think it's on our left side. And he said it, it goes in a concrete box, so that sounds to me like they've done some kind of massive project and built some kind of, not canal, but like basin. Or not, not, not a basin, but you know what I mean? Like 
some kind of channel for it, even rather than just letting it flow free. But I would definitely imagine flooding is a pretty big issue. I happen to live pretty close to a giant valley, and we get some pretty nasty floods in some cases. But definitely understand how big of an impact to it makes to have areas like these, especially with rail, because rail isn't as flexible. You can't climb as high as fast. You can't do a lot of things. So you are limited to where you can build, which is where things like tunneling and stuff like that come really, really in handy. So definitely very cool. We're going to make our way through here and get down to Ellerslie. Oh, looks like we've got company going the other way. Nice little mixed consist. All, CX, all CSX branded, of course, which makes no sense, but is kind of funny to see. Like they are cooking it, too. Oh, I guess it must not be a, uh, a fully mixed consist. Looks like it's mostly fuel cars of some kind. Yeah. I don't know what the boxcars are for at each end, so if you guys know what the boxcars were for at the beginning and end of that contest, do let me know. I don't think I've ever seen that in real life, so I'm kind of curious as to what those are actually for. Is that supposed to be some kind of a buffer? Definitely let me know in the comments if you know, because that's very, very interesting. Up ahead, we'll pass through the town of Ellersman. Not much of no, but this run up from the Narrows to Hyman is our last chance to be sure about the train brakes before beginning the climb to Sand Pass Summit. Coming down, just a stretch it. After the twist of Glen Coe and Fairhope, we'll be glad to see straight ahead. Don't get too comfortable. Too much speed and the curve of Corganville will have you in the dirt in no time. Oh, all right. So. I guess we're going to be heading through some really, really rough terrain, and I'm guessing I don't actually need to stop at those, so we are going to check that out. I am curious to see if that is the case. Uh, I've stopped at each one of those points because I've expected that I need to. I think I can just keep rolling through them, so we're going to try and do that. I am very curious to see what the curves are going to look like, and because we are going to be hauling a consist coming back, I'm very curious to see how the train's going to feel with that, because I have yet to actually pull anything with a, a locomotive. So we will see how that goes. This is X551 approaching Hind. Requesting permission to stop and run back into the siding. Over. X551, subject to signal indications, proceeding with stop and run back. Alright, awesome. So, we are coming through Hindman now. We are going to go to the end of the siding up here somewhere, wherever it is. Do need to slow down, though, here soon, just to be careful. And we are going to back into the siding, connect to the cars, and hopefully get on our way. Though I'm, cu I'm curious, it depends on where the cars are, because if we're backing into the siding, uh, if behind me is reverse... <laughs> then either we're continuing further down the track or uh, we are going to have to find some way to turn around 
or potentially relocate the engines to the other end of the cars. But we will make our way through town here nice and carefully. It looks like those must be it right there, so just three cars. Unless there's more further down the siding. Kind of funny. Not a huge trip for our first day on the job, but you know what? It's a good start. And hopefully we can get these guys back into service, because I guess that's why they're down here. They had to be repaired for some sort of error. So we're going to make our way down to the switch and get in position to reverse. And here we are coming up on the siding right now. So we're going to slow down, get into position. We are on a 1.4% grade, which means we're kind of fighting our whole way uphill, which means I don't really need to use the brake as much, which is nice. I can just kind of let it stop on its own. However, it's going to mean stopping when we get closer to the actual cars is going to be a little more difficult as we're going to be naturally picking up speed going downhill. So we will have to keep an eye out on that. I'm going to start applying a little bit of the automatic brakes. See if we can get right into position here. And we should be right on the money. Oh, hopefully. Come on. That works. Awesome. Well, we have to hop out and actually go set the switch. So we're going to do that if I can squeeze my fat ass through the doors. Which obviously takes time. So we will make our way down here and switch that. God, I love these. They're way too clean, though. I will say that for compared to real life. I mean, you can tell they've got some wear in them which is nice. I will say the one thing that frustrates me when it comes to stuff like this is, you know, people will say, oh, a train or a forklift or stuff like that. You don't have to worry about cleaning them or taking care of them. They're meant to be destroyed. But I just personally, I like having nice, clean equipment. I mean, who doesn't? We'll go ahead and we'll switch that, and we are good to roll. We'll go ahead and jump back up. Oh, we actually unlocked an achievement. C CSX switcher. I am going to stay on this side of the tracks. So obviously, we don't want to walk in between the tracks. God knows another train could come up behind us somewhere. So we will definitely be cautious about that. Actually, you know what? I wonder if I could have come out behind me. I bet I could. I bet I could have come out that side instead of going out the front and walking the whole way down. That's okay. We'll come up here, shut the door. Can we actually open this door? Yes, we can. So we could have just gone that way and walked down the trains, but that's okay. Let us jump in. Ah, you know what sucks though? I can't actually... Uh, I can't operate the train from the other end. Well, so what I'm going to do is we're going to release our brakes, see what gravity does for us. I am going to throw us into reverse. Not that we really need it, but to switch our lights and all that stuff since we are moving the other way. I forgot to sound our horn, so there's one strike for me. Not good. Looks like we've got our ditch lights on going the other way. Slowly make our way into the siding and see we're already pushing it. I have not yet hooked up to anything like I said, so I'm not sure how this process is going to go with the actual hooking up of, say, airlines and, and that sort of thing. I don't know how hard I have to hit the couplers. But we're going to take it, excuse me, nice and easy. Basically not using any engine power either. It's all just braking at this point. We're just going to keep braking. I'm actually going to sit right here because that's kind of a good spot to kind of keep an eye on everything. Problem is, is this also kind of a rough side because I can't actually see. What I would like is to have someone on the ground ahead of me or someone on the other end of the train guiding me. I think that's how they do it in real life too. You would actually have someone that can either go stand on the front of the, well I guess what is now the front or what is the rear if I'm looking this way, down on the other end. Or they would be out by the cars with a radio guiding me in. I don't know if we'll have that. If we don't, I'm going to be kind of disappointed because that's how they do it in real life and for good reason. It is very difficult for whoever is actually doing the operating to see what is happening. Especially when they can't actually run the train from the other side seemingly. It may very well be possible. I might be completely wrong in that. I might be able to go just sit down there and run it. But I don't know, so we're just going to do it this way. And we're going to make our way down nice and carefully. All right, and here we go. We are coming up to the actual cars now, so we're going to slow down a little bit here. So we've got about 50 yards, 60 yards to go. So we're just going to keep it at a crawl. I'm going to go ahead and actually release it a little bit. I do think we need to hit them at least five, 
Never mind. We hit him. Damn, I did not expect us to hit it that fast. All right, so we're gonna remove. We're gonna take the reverser to neutral and the auto brake to full. No, not emergency. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Full service. Well, so now I need to rebuild pressure. Switch off any lights on the locomotive. No, I want that. Headlight off. Good work. Before heading back, let's grab a bite to eat with the repair crew. That's them by the pickup truck. All right, well, I guess we're grabbing us a snack. I'm not going to argue with food, fatty over here. Although, I'm going to have to see if I fit back through the doors. We'll still climb down this side. It's not like I don't need the exercise. But we'll go ahead. We will grab some food. Oh, there's a fence here. I can't jump the fence. Oh, I think I have to jump the fence. All right, well, we're going to try and squeeze over this fence. Oh, and actually, that's it. Awesome. Wow, look at the graph. Look how poorly. Like, down here was okay, over here was okay, but you can see just how much there room for is there is room for improvement. Obviously, this is kind of the, like, hard on the mark speed limit, but at the end of the day, you can always improve. Especially right here, I was going pretty slow for what that is. So, not bad overall, I mean, for what it is. But there we go. We have completed that journey, and that is going to be it for today. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. I'm really enjoying the CSX stuff. If you guys enjoyed that, uh, let me know, and I will definitely do more. I'm kind of experimenting with different games and seeing kind of different stuff. This is definitely more geared towards streaming, for sure, because of how long everything takes. But it is a lot of fun to record as well. And so what I'm going to do is call it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. If you didn't, you know what to do. If you really, really liked it, please consider subscribing, and you can always hit that notification bell to get notified every single time I upload. In the description below, you can find links to my Discord if you'd like to join and hang out with the crew, my Patreon if you'd like to support me further, and you can find me on social media as always at LawnHollerGMG on Snapchat, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.